tie a season high in the win on Tuesday against Duke. And across the way, the NC State starting lineup is brought to you by LS Tractor. And C.J. Bryce is in that starting lineup. Came off the bench on Wednesday against Miami. And that was his first game back after missing four games prior to that because of a concussion in practice on December 29th at a shoot-around. The opening tip controlled by NC State in the white. Cuts it in the road. Orange. And we're off and running. Tom Wormy, Mike Chaminsky, and our outstanding ACC College Hoops production crew with you from PNC Arena. We're really looking to see how Clemson is going to handle this game. And uh, talking to Brad Brownell before the game, you know, we were... You know, the, the North Carolina win was his, historic, but really impressed me how they came back and, you know, validated that with the win against Duke. Deep into the shot clock and a turnover for the pack. It certainly did, Mike, get a third in a row. 79-72 against number three Duke. That win was on Tuesday at home at Little John Coliseum. They had not defeated Duke. Since 95, when Duke was ranked number nine in the country, out of the corner, and a misfire from Matt. NC State to win on Wednesday, 80 to 63. Shot 47% as a team against visiting Miami. On the board with Markel Johnson and a three. Well, he gets that look. I mean, you saw the respect that Thunderbird gets immediately. He almost was triple teamed on that play and a good swing of the basketball. 34 minutes of action on Wednesday for Markel Johnson in the double digits. He had 10 points and four steals. Easy board for Thunderbird. Markel Johnson with a triple double this season. And they came at home against the Citadel as they try to get it inside the Thunderbird. They were just so thin with C.J. Bryce out. You know, only really three guards to play with. So his, his coming back has been a, a big lift against Miami. Daniels missed the initial shot. The Sims got the board. For the Tigers, 9-7 and seven on the year. They lost their first three ACC games. But they have won their last three. NC State at home. And then North Carolina to end 0 and 59. And then Duke on Tuesday. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting with Clemson, Tom, uh, about the NCAA tournament. You know, they their overall record not that you know great. Dawes misses the three-pointer, but, you know, they've got some quality wins in their resume for sure. They go inside for the double-fisted hammer. Many beats. And that's where he, that's where he scores. Thunderbird can score all over the floor, but uh, Bates is going to get stuff off the offensive glass and lobs. You're right about those wins for the Tigers, Mike. North Carolina Duke. And how about the OT win against TCU yep. in Las Vegas as well? Where they forced overtime. They just need to stay healthy. I mean, they've been so banged up during the year. Newman cannot deliver. Although Newman has delivered recently, the Tigers are now 0 for 5 from the floor. Bounces out out of the corner from Bryce trying to get the box score. Clyde Trapp brings it up. He was limited to just three points on one of two shooting in 29 minutes against Duke. Sims challenging that NC State D, and he wins the fight. He's going to the free throw line. There's the look, I and mean, you just you can see they really they really spread the floor. Sims the ability to take the ball off the bounce, get to the rim, and finish the play. Near Sims. Those numbers, scoring and rebounding, both lead the team. The game against North Carolina as he gets the free throw to fall. The points, the rebounds, the assists, the blocks, the steals, all first on the team for Sims. Led him in five categories in that historic win a week ago in Chapel Hill. Has not won ever on the road in Chapel Hill, all the way back to 1926. <laughs> Free 
Sixers triangle. Tigers looking to beat NC State for the second time this season. They played two weeks ago, January 4th, and they won at home 81-70. Never trailed in the game, but struggled from beyond the arc in the second half. They were just one of ten, but didn't win that game. Well, and a lot of it was at the end, but uh, Clemson 31 free throws in that game, 28 of 31. Tough to overcome. Braxton Beverly picked up the personal foul, his first. Sims trying to back his way down with the shot clock going inside of 10 now at 5. Sims baseline over his defender for two. You can just see the confidence that he has. They basically cleared out the side and usually you have a guard with the uh, ball in his hands at, uh, with the clock running down, but uh, they have no confidence on number 25. Helms. Shot clock at 10 now for the pack. Helms. Tough pass to catch, and he misfires on the shot. You mentioned, Mike, the lack of success for the Tigers here in the North Carolina Triangle. Foul on the play. They're 19 and 170, but this year, the historic win against North Carolina, our Toyota Tweet of the Week, comes from Amir Sims. If you're looking for him on Twitter, it's at Earl Schmitty underscore. Unbelievable experience, and that pretty much sums it up. For our Toyota Tweet of the Week, and Sims was an enormous part of that, Mike. He hit that three-pointer right in front of his own bench with three and a half seconds to go to tie the game at 70 and send it to 0-2. There you see the uh, the the rest of the that uh, the, rest, the rest of the tweet and uh, you know it's, it's great to be part of history. Uh, I was I was really surprised in watching that game that uh, North Carolina didn't foul down the stretch in the you know under under 10 seconds. I think Coach Roy Williams said in the post game news conference he wanted his team to do that, but the instruction and the recognition wasn't there. And Sims had a quick release and made that three. And then got it to overtime. Tigers never led in regulation, Mike. It was 2-2 two two and 70-70 in regulation. And then they won it for the OT. Here's Sims up and under on the cut. Seven points, Samir Sims. Sims made three three-point baskets, including that critical one to send the game to overtime against the Tar Heels. Johnson let the defender fly on by, but the rebound pulled down by the Tigers and Hunter Tyson. Yeah, it's been, uh, Markel's been a little up and down recently offensively. Lack of consistency. Look at Sims extending the range, and he's ripping ropes for the Tigers. It's an 11-0 run for Clemson, and a timeout on the court. Thirteen thirty to go in the first half, and we go to our four keys of the game. Brought to you by your local Ford dealer with Mike Jaminski. Well, for Clemson, we talked about you know a lot to be said for momentum, and they've uh, gotten off after a slow start here to rip off eleven straight points. And uh, for NC State, we talked about the thirty-one free throw attempts down to Clemson, uh, but um, you know they've got to defend without fouling. So Amir Sims is now four of five from the floor. He's already hit double digits, Mike, with 10 points. Yeah, 10 of the 11 points so far. And uh, you can see they're, uh, you know, looking to him, giving him the clear out. I talked about his mid-range game. He can't shoot the three and also finish at the rim. It is scoring at all three levels, Tom. Amir Sims in the zone for his last few games. And the Tigers, who struggled to start, 0 for 5 from the floor, have made their last four shots. Last field goal for NC State at the 17-14 mark. In traffic off the glass, Devin Daniels. Lawrence Scott picked up the foul for the Tigers. 
And Daniels had a nice game against Miami. 15 points for him. 7 of 11 from the floor. Good finish. Seventy six percent from the stripe on the season for Daniels who ends the drought for NC State with the field goal and the three point play old school style for the red shirt junior from Battle Creek Michigan. Let's come out of the timeout and execute and get a, and, uh, get a basket. Kevin Keith trying to wake his team up with a little full court pressure. Nobody, nobody in the post for Clemson right now. Five out on the perimeter. Tigers shot 57% as a team, Mike, in that win against number three, Duke. And Tuesday, hesitation and drive. Trap and a foul. And see what that does is it gets, it gets Bates away from the basket. Um, and, you know, Clemson opens up driving lanes. You see right there, just the little stutter step made Bates freeze. Devin Daniels picked up the foul for NC State. Bates is the leading shot blocker in the conference, over three per game. Trap unable to finish off the three-point play. Johnson races back up the floor. Now Daniels catch and release. Tigers are happy to see Trap get in the box score. Mike as Sims follows his own miss. Uh, just, uh, you know, with base and shot block, he's shown the ball, and uh, he went flying in the air for that shot fake. So no, Sims uh, has 12 points in the first half, Mike. Yeah, and Clemson going zone right now. They're going to try to make NC State um, make outside shots. Wolfpack made nine three-pointers on 20 chances. On Wednesday against Miami, this one bounces around. It's the fifth turnover of the first half for NC State. See the Tigers have picked up the intensity from the floor. And they have not turned the ball over so far. Almost midway through this first half. They've already scored a win against NC State this season. And the foul is called on the play. Um, Braxton Beverly's really been going through a tough, tough stretch, and uh, you know he's Daniel's the guy who's kind of stepped up and uh, replaced him as their three-point threat. 14th made three of the season for Daniels, who is a double-digit scorer on average this season, just over 11 points per game. Matt. Foul on the Tigers. That is Jemison coming over the top. There's Daniels. You see they kind of lose him up at the top, and uh, he finds the seam. He gets a shot. A little over 32% on the year. Responsible for the last six points put up on the board by the NC State Wolfpack. Transfer from Utah. Played in all 36 games last season for the Pack. Inside, and a rough. Thunderbird fights off the contact. He'll head to the free throw line. Here's the look. When, when you play NC State, you have got to defend the high pick and roll. And that, that's where Thunderbird really thrives up there. Defense gets split late coming in. And uh, they should, you know, you, you just got to really be aware on the weak side and up top as well. Kayvon Moore picked up the foul for Clemson. Thunderbird, who is a 75% free throw shooter, coming off of that 19-point performance to lead the team in a starting role against the Canes on Wednesday. Sims sifting through and giving off to Mack, who is fouled. You mentioned the assist numbers through the roof for Sims recently, Mike. So he's not only scoring, but getting his teammates involved. And because of that, Mack is at the free throw line now. Well, in our chat with, with uh, Coach Brownell, you know, he mentioned the fact that those opportunities were there earlier in the season. 
and they just kind of had to talk him into taking advantage of throwing back doors and you know being more involved as a as a passer. Lane violation. So Mack will get another chance. Only 54% from the line on the season, but 47% from the floor. He was 10 of 14 in shooting against Duke in a win on Tuesday. 1 of 2 from Mack. Also had 17 points and made three three-pointers in the win against North Carolina on the road at the Smith Center. Fouled on the three-point attempt was Andre. Kevin Keats talk, talked about working with uh, with Andre and with uh, Beverly. A little bit of extra practice from three after, you know, this whole week. So you can see the, the work paying off there, but that was not a smart play, obviously, by Mack to follow a three-point shooter. You don't see that very often. Pat Andre, who is a graduate transfer from Lehigh. 90 percent. Yeah, not 19 of 22 coming into the game. He'll get one more. Foul on the three-point attempt. Did play seven minutes off the bench in the game against Miami. Contributed four points and three boards. And now a substitution for the Tigers as Moore will come out. Chase Hunter in the lineup, number three. Andre averaged 13 points and six boards at Lehigh a season ago. And a graduate transfer in an NC State uniform this year. And it's, you know, mostly we, we see those that, you know, guys who have played at the mid-major college level and want to have it one chance to play in a Power Five conference. Sims. Ooh, to be really close to a three-second call. Crowd wanted it. Or a travel as Sims is trying to make his move in the paint. Johnson into the corner. Andre. Not what he was looking for into the hands of Sims. He could find too. Cross court. Hunter, shoulder, Daniels hit the deck. Offensive foul. Yeah, we we had heard that he, had, you know, he, he had a foot. And anytime he, he got past him, and he, you lower the shoulder like that, that's an obvious call. First turnover of the game for Clemson. A little chirping going on there between two of them. Lee Cassell, Jerry Heater, Sean Hull. Officiating crew this afternoon. Tom Romy, Mike Jaminski, ACC College Hoops, our talented production staff, in the truck here at PNC Arena. This communication on the pass is deflected out by Mack, but that was headed toward the Clemson bench. And Mack was going in the back door. I've got 11 seconds left on the shot clock. State picked it up in the second half against Miami. 64% shooting. Johnson glides to the rim and lays it in. I think he left all five Clemson players behind on that move. He might have crossed it over two or three times. Five points. Markel Johnson brings them out of their seats in the arena. Three point miss out of the corner for Mac. And uh, this is a great speed inside by Funderburk. And uh, it's been a and there you see the, uh, the part of the run. And uh, Markel Johnson not only scoring, but hitting the ball up the floor as well. NC State finishing. So the Tigers 
have the basketball, but there you see the cold, hot, cold. 0 for 5 since going 6 of 6. Sims is 5 of 8 from the floor. The rest of the team might just 1 of 8 on field goal attempts. Sims a fall away. Now see, that time I think he got away with a little, an offensive foul. I mean, that, that looked like a push-off. Helms, tough catch. Tigers don't have a field goal since the 12-17 mark of this first half. Clemson led by as many as seven in this first half. Shot clock is at seven for NC State. Daniels lets it fly. Newman the board. Tough shot at the end of the shot clock. Good defensive stand by Thompson. Second effort from Mack. Off his own miss. Three points in the first half for Mack. One point game, 640 on the game clock. So I've worked everybody that time. Was the first guy off the floor on the miss. Johnson passes to Bryce, deflected by Newman defending, but a foul is called. So look, and this is what the what the crowd reacted to right there. I mean, that's you know that's that's got to be a push off, but uh, you know, and, 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 and NC State not hurt by it, but uh, Mac right there sometimes. Uh, you miss it so badly, it was like an assist to yourself. C.J. Bryce with the free throw line. Ninth in the league in scoring. Over 15 points per game. Seventh in free throw shooting. It's 79% for C.J. Bryce. Redshirt senior Mike from Charlotte, North Carolina. The only head coach he has ever known. Kevin Keats. Played for Keats for two years at UNC Wilmington and then moved on to NC State. And, uh, you know, you can tell still feeling the effects of missing the, the four games with the concussion protocol. That's an offensive foul. By trap. First foul. Come on, trying to try to trying to come up as the teams are getting chipped you're trying to come off that air screen and that's you know again that's you're in the wide open and you know two referees could see that and that's you know that's what you do is in that situation and Markel Johnson with a nice play you get uh, you know you get Sims into high screen and roll you get the switch and you drive it right at him see they just Get right into the body and draw the foul. First foul on Sims. Johnson's at the line. Just 53% from the strike for Johnson. We did get an update on Manny Bates. It is a neck injury, and he is doubtful to return. And it was really just awkward contact yeah. with Sims yeah, there inside. Was, there was no elbow to turn on there. No. Um, but, you know, he just almost kind of fell into him. And like I said, it looked like almost like a whiplash. Daniels. Inside of six minutes to go in the first half. The lead is four for NC State. Johnson tees it up. Weak side, Daniels. Johnson, bit of a reset as he steps back. Doesn't have a lot of time. Daniels, two on the shot clock, and he rattles it home. Devin Daniels had eight points in the first half. Well, good. I mean, it's hard, but we really haven't seen Braxton Beverly play all that much in the first half, and it looks like he's getting most of the minutes and, and earning them with some big shots. Fourth rebound of the first half for Daniels. Has eyes for the rim. And he was intent on driving the whole way, and he got fouled. There's a look. Good spacing, you know. Really 
Um, pretty good defense on the play by, by Tevin Mack, but uh, he just created some separation with the fadeaway. Right at the end of the shot clock for Daniels on that previous drive was fouled. Trap now has two personals. Nine points now for Devin Daniels. Yeah, this, I think uh, Funderburg's got a little issue on his elbow with some blood. And I said it's the last game, Tom. You know, this used to have to be an automatic substitution, but now the referee's getting, you know, if, if it's something that can be addressed relatively quickly, they give him time. It basically turns into Kevin Keats and his Wolfpack. Out in front, the trailing earlier in this half. Third year for Coach Keats. Daniels at the line. It's an 18 to three run by NC State. The largest lead of the first half for the Wolfpack. Scott in traffic. Thunderbird who checks it. Well, we talked about base, but Thunderbird is also a capable shot blocker. Not as gaudy maybe as base, but uh, nice job protecting the rim on this screen roll coming in as a second defender. Tigers just one of their last ten in shot attempts. Plus, they haven't gotten much easy. Uh, they haven't gotten out and really run the floor a lot. They've had a work against the half court of NC State's defense. Fouls on Markel Johnson will send Scott to the line, one and one. That win against Duke to Brad Brownell. Number 178 is the head coach of the Tigers, and that is now a school record as he goes by Cliff Ellis. So not only did the Tigers win for the first time in Chapel Hill, that was win number 177 a week ago to tie Coach Ellis and win the victory against Duke. 178 signature victory for Brad Brownell. Boy, is his season turned around. The closest I, the closest I saw was 2008 um, when Oliver Purnell was there, and then they they, they never trailed North Carolina in regulation and lost all three games, one of which was in the final of the, of the ACC tournament. Contested in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where we were, were last year to watch Duke win the title. Thunderbird inside, whistle and foul, according to Jerry Heater. This year we're going back to the roots of the tournament, Mike. Greensboro, North Carolina. This should be a lot of fun, and boy, just throw them all in a hat and see what happens when we get there. You know, there's... There, there's a little bit of separation at the top, you know, with the top, the three top teams that are ranked with Louisville, Duke, and Florida State. But, man, after that, you know, aside from the bottom two, you know, there, there are ten teams that are within a game of one another. Florida State is at Miami right now. They've won eight in a row. And Duke, of course, lost on Tuesday. On the road against the Tigers. The game against Louisville at home. And that game this evening. Absolutely. Louisville's won three in a row. Behind Jordan Wara, leading scorer in the ACC. Shot clock at 10 for the Tigers. And they're traveling orange. Stepped on the sideline. Hunter Tyson turns it over. Substitution of Scott comes out. Avon Moore is in. Tyson a 20-point game earlier this year against uh, Detroit Mercy. So he's, you know, he is a capable high double-figure scorer off the bench. And yeah, made five threes in that victory against Detroit Mercy coming off the bench, as Mike mentioned. Also a very important three-pointer, Mike, with just under two minutes to go in regulation in that win against the Tar Heels in Chapel Hill. Andre, runner. 
following NC State. The intensity of this game. Physical play. Both sides of the basketball. 27-19 is the lead. Like right here. Well, and the thing, too, is that Clemson, one of the leaders in the league in three-point field goals made, only one so far this afternoon. You know, the Tigers make about eight and a half threes per game. That's fourth in the ACC. So it's, you know, it's State's done a nice job driving them off the three-point line. Just one of six on three-point attempts for the Tigers. Newman drops it off. Foul on the jam. Newman drew the defense and gave it right to Trey Jemison. Nice dump here. This is, uh, you know, they've had good success with drawing Thunderbird that time up, and, you know, all Jemison had to do was catch and finish. Only three of seven on the year coming in, so not a lot of attempts and uh, not a lot of mates. Only averaging 1.8 points per game for Jemison. Seeing action in his 17th game this season. Uh, they got to, you know, he's trying to get him. Amir Sims a little bit of the blow here in the first first half. Helms, third made three of the game for NC State. And his first three, Johnson, Daniels, and Helms have made threes in the first half of the pack. And you see that, and uh, the big disparity at the free throw line, too. Clemson, 4 of 10, State, 9 of 13. Look and get a little brush screen at the top, and the, the uh, replacement behind the driver that time. And Ellen's got a good look. 22nd made three on the season for Jericho Hellams, the sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri. After a double digit performance against Miami, and he connected on a couple of threes for 11 points. Tyson at the free throw line for the Tigers. Dixon in, Andre out. Seventy percent on the season from the line. Short on that one a little bit. Free throw shooting as a team, not a strength for the Tigers. 11th in the conference, just 69%. Funderburg extending the range. It's a, it's a different play, Tom, when Dixon's setting that high screen roll as opposed to Funderburg. You really don't have to honor Dixon and you can stay with the ball a little bit more. Traveling in the fifth turnover for Brad Brownell's Clemson Tigers. If you're wondering about Funderburg and shooting that three, Mike, on the previous offensive possession, three of 11 this season, and he's made 10 in his career. So he can do it. I think, you know, just maybe once a game, keep people honest. You know, that's he's going to do most of his stuff inside. Well, led the team in four of its last five games in scoring. DJ Funderburg with 19 points against Miami midweek. Following the Tigers with 153 to go in the first half. Double bonus now. Yep. We'll get a recap, Mike, from the Syracuse-Virginia Tech game, won by the Orange. They've won four in a row. Scores from around the league and highlights and top-notch analysis. No, I, I, I know where your <laughs> heart lies in that matchup. I like to see competitive but, basketball, Mike. But, but Mike Young is going to put some rest in that first half, so... I expect to see him on the floor most of it. And it uh, looks like Kevin Key's trying to get C.J. Bryce back in shape quickly. He played all 20 minutes in the first half. Bryce, who played, played 21 minutes after coming back from that concussion injury in late December on Wednesday against Miami, and that was a win for NC State. 80-63. to 63. They shot 47% in that game. They shot 50% as a team in the first half. They'll defend to start the second half against the Tigers. Newman the spin and the hit. Just got this little nugget from Tim Beret, who's the uh, color analyst and the longtime SID down at Clemson, great friend. And uh, you see Clemson has only overcome a halftime deficit twice in their history here <laughs> in 1964 and in 2000. 
but had to overcome a 10-point halftime deficit last Saturday against North Carolina to get their first ever win in Chapel Hill. Tigers want to run off the NC State miss. The pack gets back defensively. Historical perspective. Sims, the fake. The jump hook bounces off. Missed the backdoor cutter, it looked like on that play. Johnson in a congested area, looking for some assistance. Bryce trying to provide it. Helms got the board, but pushed off. Second foul, Jericho Helms. Amir Sims, who missed that last shot at this end of the floor, scored the last 10 points for the Tigers in regulation a week ago to force overtime. That included a clutch three-pointer to tie the game at 70. Newman has some daylight. Wow. I heard he doesn't work in the rain, Mike, but he works yeah. inside a PNC arena. He delivered that time. Certainly did. <laughs> 30% on the 30% uh, on the year. The pass inside bounces out of bounds. With the shot clock winding down a little bit, uh, the play was really not going anywhere. So, still 10 seconds to go, but he decided to pull the trigger on that three. Held the finish for an extra beat or two. And this is a guy they got to get back involved. Sims. Woo! The cut. Rap had it knocked away. Daniels. Bryce on the wing. Newman gets back. Johnson. Three players around him. He finds Bryce for three. Well, it's looked like a couple of times that Markel Johnson has almost drilled himself into trouble in the lane, but has done a nice job finding jump shooters. Six points in the game. C.J. Bryce. Averages just over 15 per game as the leading scorer for NC State. Physical play. Sims. Thunderbird. Newman trying to help his teammate against a double team. And he travels. A lot of hard work by Johnny Newman. Well, Thunderbird, I thought, did a really nice job uh, against Amir Sims defensively. Staying down on that play. Not going for the pump fake. He made him give it up. Johnson, who had that heroic shot at UNC Greensboro from beyond half court to win that game. He's fouled, and the act of shooting in by rule is going to the free throw line. Kevin Mack picks up the foul. Here's the look. Uh, nice job cutting off right there. And that's, again, one you're not going to block. Just get a hand up, pressure, and uh, Mack follow through a little bit. Double digits, Markel Johnson, senior from Cleveland, Ohio. 14 times he's gotten a double digit scoring in 13 of the last 14 games. 50 first time in his career for the reliable scorer, number 11, Johnson. Trap has too much on that attempt. Sims hit the score in this half. Free Thunderbird did well to grab it, send it back out. Johnson Sims up for the board. Six rebounds in the game for Amir Sims. Leads the team in rebounding. Over seven per game. Lost the handle here. Tried to get back to defend Johnson. Couldn't get there in time. Yeah, just over dribble that time by Clyde Trapp. Uh, Great pursuit from behind that turns into an easy two points. Eight oh scoring run, NC State. The Tigers.
Panthers trying to get two wins in the North Carolina Triangle for just the third time ever. And it's an uphill struggle right now. Yeah, just really nothing there offensively for Clemson so far in this half. percent shooting in the game for NC State, an 11-0 run. Yeah, they can't. Uh, he needs to grab Brian Ellis. I rate right now. He needs a timeout. C.J. Bryce has nine points. Timeout on the court. Well, here's the look. And then again, it's a nice play from behind and uh, really quickly up the floor by NC State. And, and this is, again, where they are actually have, winning the battle from behind the arc. Locker, but how about their point guard, Markel Johnson, going up and getting the snuff right there, and then it turns into uh, three points at the other end of the floor. So a five-point swing right there. A couple of threes in the last couple of minutes from C.J. Bryce. 13 points for the pack. Off the turnovers by the Tigers. NC State on an 11-0 run. Let's see if they can execute out of this timeout and get a basket. Deflected. Johnson recovers on the dribble as Sims got back. Clemson won the first meeting between the teams a couple of weeks ago. Little John Coliseum. This one going the way of the pack, especially here in the second half. After leading by 12 at halftime. Daniels weaving his way. Comes up short. Tigers hustle to the rim. Foul on the play. Matt filling the lane. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the great look. 7.43. Since then, Mike, scoreless for Sims. And, you know, we talked about his... Um, assists over the last few games. Maybe time for him to get a little selfish and start scoring. Does not have an assist in the game for Sims with Mack at the free throw line. Could not finish off the three point play. He was fouled by Helms who picked up his third personal. 47 31 as we play. In our second half of action, Tom Willie, Mike Janitsky, and our outstanding ACC College Hoops production crew with you from Raleigh, North Carolina for the second meeting this season between the Pack and the Tigers. Johnson pulls up on a dime but misfires. Dawes off the screen set by Sims. Mack weak side. Helms knocked it away for a moment. Dawes. Shot clock inside of 10 for Newman on the turnaround. High degree of difficulty. Yeah, Tom, you see Tigers desperately trying to get a look at a three, but uh, NC State doing a nice job defending the arc. Dawes did well defending that drive. Knocked it away and gathered the basketball. Lauren Scott. Graduate student and a transfer from Tulsa. There we go. And Sims with a rainbow for three. Yeah, the last 13 minutes, she's got to start, you know, looking for that drive, get more involved offensively. 15 points. We just showed you the fact that he had not scored much. Oh, Newman went up to block Helms. Now Newman. The twisting circus shot follows call. Newman on the drive. Well, here's the look. We talked about being, being selfish. He sets the screen. Everybody goes to the ball, leaves him wide open. And then how about this defensive recovery by Newman inside? I tell you what. It has been a physical game this afternoon, Tom. The referee's letting him play. Okay. A great look from behind the backboard at the block by Newman. Beverly now has three personal fouls, and the Tigers just 5 of 16 from the line. Yeah. 
And again, they are 11th in the conference, 69% as a team, but now 5 of 17. Yeah, I mean, you, you give away 12 points at the free throw line on the road, that's a lot to overcome, and especially if you're not doing what you do the best, and that's make threes. Ellums leans into a three. Tigers went 11 of 22 from the free throw line against Duke Mike, but overcame that at home on Tuesday in the 79-72 win. Bryce. Ellum's back and down. Offensive foul. Dawes was defending and hit the court. You know, and Ellum's just, I mean, he had a big size advantage. He didn't have to do that. All you're going to do is turn around and shoot over him. Foul number four on Helms, and that earns him a trip to Kevin Keith's bench. Here's a look. I mean, look at the size difference right there, and, you know, and, and Gary Huter's standing right in front of him. Again, again those, those are ones that are so obvious. Helms, 205 pounds. Alamir Dawes, 180 pounds. Exactly 12 minutes to go in the second half, and a foul called on Jemison. Pack with the 47-34 lead, knocking down five threes in the Cadate. Second half, 47-34. NC State in front and with the basketball, five of 16 from long distance for the Wolfpack. 22 feet, one and three quarter inches is the line this year, extended out. And 20 feet, nine inches away a season ago. Thunderbird, before he can shoot it, travels, according to Lee Cassell. That switch to the zone really bothered NC State on that possession. The last made field goal for NC State, Mike, at the 15-16 mark. Yeah, this, this, this game could be close to being over, you know, and it, and it has been a game of runs by both teams. Saved by Sims. Thunderbird fouls him about 23 feet away from the basket. Second on Thunderbird. That's, uh, and it's five fouls on NC State, so two away from putting Clemson at the line, although that has not been a very friendly place this afternoon. Just five of 17 from the line. Tyson on the drive, lost it on the way up. Beverly. Boy, we haven't called his name a whole lot. But Sims got the board, and a foul is called. And it might be Funderburg. And it is number three. So two quick fouls on Funderburg. All the more reason. All the more reason now. And it's, uh, see that, you know, it's, you have to know the situation. And, boy, it, you know, I don't, I don't know that that was on Funderburg. And it was kind of the last push. By the way, that shot attempt by Braxton Beverly was his first of the game. And you're talking about a guy who has 165 career-made threes after making 76 a season ago. Newman determined to drive and Travel. score. But Travel. traveled. Tenth turnover of the game for the Tigers. We'll see if the pack can finally find the bottom of the net. They've missed their last six field goal attempts. Nobody needs to make more than Braxton Beverly right now if he gets an open look. Underbrook on Sims. Ducks under and lays it in. Nine points for Funderburg. And see if you're, you know, if I'm Sims, I'm going to go try to go at Thunderbolt right now. Get that, you know, get that fourth foul. Thunderbolt has averaged 18 points per game in the last five this afternoon. Prior to this game, out of the corner, and that is a three ball from Hunter Tyson. 
Four points now for Tyson. Beverly, catch and shoot. Well, you know, the one thing he, he can't do is stop. Him. I, I mean, you know, that's that's what he does. Trap. Nine twenty on the game clock. Trap on the hustle. Hunter puts it up there. Foul on the play as he was looking for Tyson up on the rim. Sudden, just kind of see a change of energy and momentum. It's you know Clemson that's pushing the ball up the floor, making plays defensively. Third foul on Markel Johnson. Denson's going to come in, give Sims a break. You're probably going to try to get him to the under uh, under eight minute media timeout and buy him some, you know, a, a, a nice little rest here, and then get him back on the floor. Sims has 15 points, but just that lone three pointer accounting for his points in the second half with 9:02 to go. In this half, he's on Brad Brownell's bench. It may be good for the Tigers just to see a ball go through the net, Mike, from the free throw line. As Tyson made them both, and Matt comes in. Newman also out in that group. Well, I, I tell you, it's, it sounds a little quirky, but bad free throw shooting can be as contagious as good free throw shooting. I mean, you see teammates going up there and missing, and that's the thought. You're saying, man, i got to get this turned around and make a couple. See if the pack can turn it around from the floor. Daniels, that shot was contested by Scott. Andre, second chance on the possession and the outlet to Scott. Tries to get it into the corner. Hunter got it back, has to wrestle it away from two Wolfpack players, and Mack is wide open. Well, hustle play, and all of a sudden, this, this is where the confidence comes in. 7-0 scoring run, and all of a sudden it's an eight-point game. Tigers in search of their fourth win in a row. Defeated NC State two weeks ago at home, and then wins on the road at North Carolina, and then a home victory against Duke on Tuesday. Johnson, Daniels, choppy play in the corner, tried the no-look to Dixon. It goes out of bounds, we'll keep it at this end of the floor, and take a time. Record this year, which was really crazy. Rice with only a couple of seconds left on the shot clock. And then he commits the foul on Trap. So that is the third on Bryce. The foul trouble might become an issue very soon for NC State. About five players with multiple fouls. Um, three or more. Let's watch and see over the last eight minutes if, if two things turn around for Clemson. One three-point shooting and two the free throw line. Trap is now 0 for 2 from the line. Eight-point difference. NC State led by as many as 18 early in this half. And their shooting has cooled off considerably. Trying to get in the way of a 12-2 Tiger run. That's Johnson on the drive. He's going to earn a trip to the free throw line. Kevin Mack picked up the foul for Clemson, his third. And for the pack, Helms with four. And then Beverly, Thunderbird, Johnson, Bryce all with three. Well, I don't know how much we're going to see Beverly the rest of the game unless Markel Johnson picks up his fourth and gets in trouble. Beverly's 0 for 2 on three-point chances, and you know, Johnson has missed a free throw. Hadn't missed prior to that. It was 3 of 3. 4 of 5, Markel Johnson from the free throw line for the senior. Mac 
Memphis trying to dig his way out of that corner. He found Trapp. Long rebound run down by Sims. Scott the cutter. Inside a ton of the shot clock. Just above seven minutes on the game clock. Nine point back lead. Trapp could not calculate the angle in midair and he misses. And then despite the foul problems that Funderburg very aggressive that time going up altering the shot. Three fouls on Funderburg. That pass deflected away by Trapp. And into the hands of Sims on the handle. On the shoulder of Funderburg gave it back. Trapp driving. Does not get the roll. Does somebody want to win this game? <laughs> It's, it's there for the taking for both teams. Shot clock's at eight for C.J. Bryce. Daniels, sharp move to the rim. Thunderbird over the top, and he bounces it home. Well, that's another one you do, you know, you, you got to be careful on it. He already picked up his last foul was uh, over the back, but uh, a great catch and finish that time. 11 points for Funderburg. <laughs> Miss from three, Hunter. Just four of 16 on three-point shots for the Tigers. Bryce dribbling clinic, falling away. Johnson able to track it down. He'll take his time. Yeah, bailed him out that time, and I don't know if that was the best shot in the world right there. Your offense isn't working really well. Johnson trying to shake Hunter. Crosses him over. Drops it off to Thunderbird. But a foul is called on the driving Johnson. Oh, Kevin Keats is beside himself. Markel Johnson broke his ankles twice on that play. Four personal fouls now. Yes, I mean, he was outside the box line, and he took it on the chest. He can still be moving a little bit. Obviously, there are a few thousand people in the arena who disagree with that call. <laughs> Sims absorbed the contact on that offensive foul. He has a double-double, his third of the season and career for Amir Sims. Dawes. Trying to drop it off to Sims. It's off of his fingertips. Would have been, a, would have been better for him to make his mistake off the rim because uh, Sims had inside rebounding position. Funderburg has a double-double for NC State. 11 points, 10 boards. First career double-double Funderburg. What a stretch of games he is having. Playing with three personal fouls. Double team. Passing. Bryce! Well, they came with the double team with Newman, and then Bryce just broke right off his back to the rim. 11 points, C.J. Bryce. Scott hits the field goal. The first since the 8.25 mark. But there's half for the Tigers. Quiets the crowd a little bit. On the jumper by Curran Scott. 340 on the game clock. What a basketball game. Tigers coming back in the second half to make it competitive and a foul is called. Here's the play. You see where you play off the double team and Thunderbird with the heads up play. Wide open look inside. Great finish. Four of 11 from the floor for Johnson. That includes one three-pointer on five attempts. 13 points. The other double digit scorers, Funderburg, Rice, and Daniels.
Underberg with his first career double-double. Josh has got to be careful, though. Four personal fouls for him. Clemson, Clemson still has a couple of fouls to play with. Mike, that's four on Sims. Again, NC State led by as many as 18, about five minutes in to this second half after leading by 12 at halftime. Shot clock at 10 for the Wolfpack. Johnson from way outside. Thunderbird offensive glass. Well, he's been terrific, terrific on second chance opportunities. 13 points, 11 rebounds. DJ Funderburg. And that'll fall for the Tigers and Mack. Nine points for Mack and the foul goals against CJ Bryce. That pretty, you know, you don't want to put the ball on the deck that much, but um, CJ Bryce just kind of sloppy defense reaching in and grabbing the arm. Double digits for Mack. Tigers refusing to go away as we go inside of three minutes in regulation. Deflected. And yeah, we'll pressure up the floor. Took some time off the clock. I tell you, Devin Danis has been quiet the second half. Twelve points in total for Daniels, but all in the first half. Here he is. Shot clock winding down. Soft bounce, not in his favor. The iron was not pleasant to Daniels. Dawes. Mack trying to bail him out. Twelve points from Mack. You see how NC State deploys in the last two minutes against this pressure. Bryce nearly tied up. Johnson inside of two minutes. And the shot clock down to seven. Zone for Clemson. Andre trying to bust it. Foul against the Tigers. Thunderbird was fighting for the rebound. Foul is against NC State. That's a 16 foul. <laughs> Time out on the court. Shooting free throws at this point. One more to go. Thirty-nine percent from the floor for NC State in the game. They haven't trailed Clemson. Since the score was 16-15 with 9.57 left in the first half. Trying to keep that lead. And perhaps increase on it. It was deflected. Moving up with piece. Rice. Newman got a piece of it. And now Dawes. Races past Johnson. Dawes at the rim. Trying to take it away from Funderburg out of bounds. And NC State basketball. And you know, it was it was Daniels that had him teed up. Andre limping off the, bench, off the uh, court to the sideline. But Daniels was the one who saved that play. I mean, he had taken up, made him change the shot and get the miss. Yeah, it looked like it went yes. off a of Thunderbird. It looked like it went off his ankle. We're inside of two minutes in regulation, so the officials are at the scores there. But you can take a look at it. It's not that, that's going to be close. But it looked just like in the last second that the, it went off a Thunderbird foot. Lee Cassell, Jerry Peter at the monitor. 
take a look at it here and see if this is two and orange is Dawes. Zero for NC State is Thunderbird. Dawes stripped it away. Right there. Right there. Yep. Right foot. I think, I think I just caught some balls. That right foot yep. of Thunderbird. And and now, Dawes does touch it. But it hits the ground the out of bounds. Exactly, Mike. Exactly. Before he gets a hand on it. Exactly. Thunderbird has had quite a day, 13 points, 11 boards. He's tied with Johnson for the team leading scoring and leads the team to the rebounds. Dawes was involved in the play underneath with Thunderbird. For NC State, you got to continue to do the same things. Drive Clemson off the three-point line and don't foul. Tigers are 4 of 16 from long range. They are going to award the ball to the Tigers. Also checking on the clock. Yeah, 128. Yep. See, Andre came out of the pack there, favoring that ankle. Well, he has since been substituted for. So Dawes will have the inbounds. Johnson will guard it. 56-48, 129 to go. And we get it to Sims. Trying to work on Thunderbird, got him in the air. Well, I say, and Thunderbird has to be careful, too, because of those, you know, got three, so one, to, you know, one to play with. Just the second field goal this half for Sims, who also has a made three-pointer. In this situation, can't, can't let the clock get down too far right now. It's, again, it's the zone they've been playing against. 7-0 Tiger run. Shot clock at two. Beverly makes it. Wow. <laughs> First basket of the game for Beverly. Well, I tell you about it, you, you got to keep shooting the basketball. And what a timely shot. I mean, he had been in such a horrible slump. But what a, what, what a great play. Look, Clemson just loses sight of him. And it's that dribble penetration that gives him a good look. First points of the game for Braxton Beverly. Sims is at the line. Well, Kevin Keyes talked about staying with him in the gym afterwards this whole week, just working on shots. You know, just like, you know, let's just get in there. He didn't say anything about the slump. He just said, let's just take some shots 30 made threes on the season for Beverly best on the team Sims misses the second and now just 35 seconds on the clock look to get it over to the half court line well, and they call timeout now there was a timeout desired by Keats but two of the officials put their hands up indicating the 10 second violation The timeout is not being granted, and the ball is being given to the Tigers, yep. Mike. Yep. So Bryce's pass was too late. You see Keats in the background trying to call a timeout. So there is a timeout on the floor. It was taken by the Tigers. They have possession. But it's, 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 okay, that, that, that was, all right, now that was Clemson's last timeout. So they're out of timeout. And, well, they have one night, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, um, but still, it's a three possession game. So you see how poorly they have shot the ball from the free throw line. And the difference is eight right now. Tigers from the line of the game, just nine of 23. So they're getting there, not converting. Trailed by 12 and a half time to NC State. Wolfpack's won four of its last six games. You know about the historic run.
by the Clemson Tigers winning their last three, including the game two weeks ago at home against this Wolfpack team. You thought early second half, Mike, that NC State was pulling away. Up by 18, but Brad Brownell's team has come to play today. They fucked their way back. And um, it's, it's, it's been the pressure that's bothered Clemson in the last three or four minutes, or bothered the NC State. 13 turnovers in the game by NC State. They just committed one on the 10-second violation just a moment ago. Could not get the ball past that port. And now trap on the inbounds. Two timeouts remaining for NC State. One for Clemson. Turnaround. Too strong from Scott. Second chance on the possession, and he hits a three. Another timeout. And see, how many times have we seen that, too, Tom? A missed shot, an offensive rebound, and a wide-open look at three. Here's the thing. I mean, if you're NC State, you've got to find a way to come up with this ball, but uh, they just get out hustle when you get a wide-open look. Here's the play, and he's, he was in a great position to catch and shoot right there. I mean, that was... Uh, you know, Scott was, uh, he, he was ready to go when the ball got there. His first attempt at a three-pointer in the game, Mike Jaminski, he connects with six points. Well, he's he's seen, Scott. He's seen two, two, two threes for the first time for two players with uh, Beverly and now Scott. Scott, who had 14 points in the win a couple of weeks ago, at home against NC State. Here, Sims had 17 in that win against NC State. To lead the team. All right, if I, you know, if you're Clemson, you're going to try to take Markel Johnson out of, you know, get the ball in somebody else's hands. And, and for NC State, they, they've got to get the ball off the floor. I mean, you know, that's. They do have two timeouts to work with. So there's your situation with timeouts. Tigers in the double bonus. Whoa. 16 fouls right now on Clemson. Possession arrow favors the Wolfpack. We're going right down to the wire. Something maybe we did not expect in the early stages of this second half for NC State. Up by 18 points. You can run the line here. Bryce. They nice get it job. to Daniels. Nice job. Crossing midcourt is not a problem this time around. So a foul by Curran Scott to put Daniels at the free throw line. He is one of two from the line in the game. And they're going to bring Helms back in for Beverly for defensive purposes because he's got the size. And that's Bryce who's one of two. Daniels is now four for four. Okay, one more. You turn it back into a three-possession game. 13 points, Devin Daniels. One of two, his first point of the second half for Daniels. Sims. They save it. Back to Sims. Seven seconds on the clock. Sims misses the three. He had the magic against Carolina. Yep. Not this time around against NC State for Sims. <laughs> Six-point game, State going to the line, Mike. They may have survived the closing seconds against a surging Tiger team. Yeah, no, that was, you know, a good fight for them. Probably should have, um, you know, salted this game away a little bit earlier, made it a little more interesting than it is, but uh, this should do it. This is Mack with a last-second shot. Wouldn't have mattered. 60-54, Kevin Keats and the NC State Wolfpack defeating the Clemson Tigers at home. Four straight at home, and now they're 11-1 at PNC Arena this season. They win their four straight in the series against the Clemson Tigers, and that halts the Tigers' three-game winning streak. Once again, our final NC State wins at 60-54. Tomorrow on your regional sports network at noon, ACC Women's Basketball Syracuse a bit. Then at 2 o'clock, Wake Forest against ninth-ranked NC State. Check your local listings. For Mike Chavinsky, I'm Tom.